I'm in the basement and this is the water main. I made my cut already on the cold water line. And you want to do this before you get to the fixtures. If you do it after you get the fixtures, then the pressure will be high once you get to the fixtures and you'll have defeated your the purpose of the installation. So um, most houses they um do have high water pressure. The reason being is because most cities, you know, have to have high water pressure when they um for like fire hydrants and that sort of thing. By the time it gets to your house, it, it the pressure is a little bit um lower. However, um it's still really high for most uh, most fixtures and um and residential uses. Therefore, this little um water pressure reducer valve, it um in a nutshell reduces your water pressure to a more um sensible um use for residential purposes. Okay, I'm gonna do a close up. You wanna install your you can see the arrow. You wanna install your um reducer water pressure reducer valve with the arrow pointing towards the direction of water flow. Okay? And now as you can see where my hand is you have a rubber washer. And uh Right below that, you have a little copper flange. It's kind of flared. Uh, yeah, you can see it right there. And what you're going to want to do is same thing at the top here. You're going to want to solder that. Before you connect this, you're going to want to solder that piece on. Otherwise, you'll heat 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 this washer up uh, too high. And below that is a little um, nut here that you after you solder this on put your um, valve right there and you're just gonna slide this up and screw it in um, while, you, while you're soldering if you're uh, installing this vertically a little trick is to tie this with a piece of floss or string to kind of hold this this nut up here in place. Okay, I got it in there, and uh, now we're gonna turn on the water and go check the water pressure. Most of these come preset. This one comes at a preset pressure of 50 pounds per square inch. So we'll go take our water tester and uh, see if that checks out. Okay, put on. I screwed on my little water pressure tester. I'll open the valve and should be around 50 psi since that's what the um, uh, reducer valve uh, came preset at. So let's see. Oh yeah. Well, look at that. I'll take that. It reduced the water pressure and uh, there you go. Although this water pressure reducer valve comes preset at 50 psi, you can adjust the water pressure to your liking. And how you do that? You see this little nut on here? It's a brass nut. You um, take your wrench and loosen that. And you have to do that whether you're tightening it or whether you're increasing or decreasing the water pressure. And then you take your screwdriver and if you're going to decrease the water pressure you turn it counterclockwise. And if you increase the water pressure you do the opposite. You turn it the screw clockwise. You could almost think of it as a um, the screw as it you turn it clockwise pushes in and so that's going to put more pressure on your on your system increasing your water pressure. Conversely if you loosen it as I say righty tighty lefty loosey then it pulls the screw back it's going to decrease that pressure on that um, on your system. Once you get to the desired pressure that you want it, you just tighten this nut back up.